What's going on guys? Welcome back. Another exciting episode of 970 Bass Fishing. Today, I don't really know where we're going, but lately I've been struggling with trying to switch it up and find new spots for you guys to catch fish and try to not be repetitive about where I fish. But here in Colorado, Bass aren't native here, so with that being said, uh, there's not a lot of great fisheries around here. And the ones that there are, there's, they're private or they're just completely and entirely overfished. And the people that catch the fish around here just keep them. And it completely irritates me. But I did find one spot. So I'm going to go see if it's actually there, and if it is, we'll probably fish it somewhere I've never been before, but sometimes you just got to search on the maps, find somewhere that's got some fish. You see people and heard about people catching fishing, because out here, there's, that's not like I can go to any lake or any stream and there's going to be bass in it. That's just not how it is out here in Colorado. They're... They stock, let's say, Corn Lake with 25 largemouth bass a year, and only and only 25 largemouth a year, and a whopping 25,000 rainbow trout in that lake. So, I mean, nearly impossible. It's just not a lot of bass, but the ones that are here we will find and we will catch so i uh, hope you guys enjoy thank you guys for bearing with me on my search to find these bodies of water and these places that may hold some giants and uh most of all thanks for following along with my whole journey uh with my whole channel and supporting me and commenting I love you guys and I thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I find a spot. We're going to go check this out. I saw it on a, on that Fish Brain app. People were catching. There's a largemouth bass caught there, but it doesn't look like there's water there. So either somebody's pulling my leg or it's really hidden. But I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna drive Ooh. there, try to get there safely without wrecking. Um, yeah, once again, thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, I found a spot. I don't know how good it is, but we. Are gonna figure it out together. That Senko's trashed. Pretty freaking clear here, though. Settle down, just bluegill. Bluegill bites. <sighs> oh man. I just missed a bass. Dang it, he fell off. There's bass in here.
Good, how are you? Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> Well, I guess they can't park there, folks. So, sorry about that. Yeah. Alright guys, had to move the car. Guess this is the no parking zone. I switched up my baits. I went real finesse, shaky head with a little Ned rig. And spook. So I see a lot of top water action going on down here. So let's see if we can't catch any fish here for you guys. I already caught that one and dropped him on the other side of the gate where I can't get to. But See if we can change this up. Starting off with the Ned Rig. Very effective bait. There's a there's a rock pile over here. There's a fish. Oh yeah. There we go guys. That's a nice one. Sweet. Look at that. Nice. That is a nice bass guys. Wow, that's a... Is that a spot? It's got a really, really, really small mouth. There we go, guys. Look at that bass. What is that? Oh, it's a mutated. She's mutated. I don't know if you guys can see that. Her mouth's all messed up, but there we go, guys. Nice fish. Good way to start the day off. Wow. That's about a two pounder. It's about a two pound fish. Yeah, somebody messed that fish's mouth up. There we go, guys. First fish of the day. Heck yeah, on the Ned Rig. On the Ned Rig. Yes. Yes. That fish came up and ate it too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wasn't getting any bites, guys, and I switched this Ned rig. And there we go. Awesome, awesome fish. I've never caught one with such a mutated mouth before. Poor fish. Thought I was in some rock piles there. Thought I was all caught up and hung up and there he was. Awesome.
Okay. What's up, buddy? Okay guys, there is the second bass of the day, a little bit smaller than the last bass, but hey, that's two fish, so I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, that was a bluegill eating the Ned rig. It just fell off. All right, guys, ending the day today. Uh, pretty good day considering the struggle I've kind of been through. It felt real good to catch that, that two pounder, man. Felt real good. It's been couple days now I've been fighting to get a bite so that felt pretty good uh, caught that one on the Ned rig with the yum the little tiny uh, finesse TRD style worm uh, in pearl white and then I caught that other one we got a two pounder and then one that was not even two ounces but as far as I'm concerned that was a pretty good day I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do me a favor push that like button give me a comment what you want to see next and uh, smash that subscribe button for me thanks guys I'll catch you next time on the next episode of 970 bass fishing see you guys later Cracky.